Hello there, friends. Arya Safar came here, the outskirts of the City of Solitude. We are not here, though, to visit that dark, large capital of Skyrim's late High King. No, 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 no. We are here to find a place called Rhyme Rock Burrow. It is, I believe, a cave or some sort of underground lair located along the north coast of Hafingar. All right, now we have quite a bit of a walk ahead of us, so we should hurry. Should use the abilities that will allow us to traverse this land a bit faster. Some have asked, it, why sh haven't I purchased a horse? I'd rather not. I like walking, or running as it may be, sometimes. And uh, I fear for the horse, you know, I mean... There may be times where we will be suddenly assaulted by mages, fireballs, lightning bolts, even just hails of arrows. And who knows what will happen to the horse? I mean, I very well protected. We have one. Why do we feel such feelings of dread? Oh, uh oh, right. You're still alive! Strike him down! A light apart here! Poke, poke, poke! Alright, he's dead. Anyway, let's get our weapons. Don't know why I decided to attack with the blessings of Arcade and... Oh, look, look, it's the Khajiit caravan. I think this is Master Assad. Oh, no, it's Mr. Madran. I thought it was Master Assad who came this way. Anyway, oh, look at that, the horse. As if to punctuate what we were talking about a while ago. Where are we? Alright, if we continue on this way, we can eventually reach the... Hmm. Salmo. Are those Valenwood troops? That's Valenwood armor. It's like recognized huh. bringing in expeditionary troops from the provinces eh Salmo it's as if they own this land already not so I say Salmo the Dominion they will have to fight tooth and nail against the Empire and every Imperial citizen before they gain Alright, this time we will use our mace. Oh, it's just you. Alright. Well, we'll just use our shield. We have, of course, grown exceedingly powerful at this point. 
We are master of... Wow, what is that? What's going on? I think those are Atronax. And who are you? Who are you? Oh, you're a bandit! Alright. Uh-oh. Love a good fight. Hold the bell for you. Oh. Oh, come on. We have no stamina. Ah. You're pretty tough. I love a good fight. Beer so. Oh, come on. If you open. Alright. Just needed a good strong hit. What are you? Look at that. Fire and ice! Um, so it's a very interesting backpack. Not quite my style, I guess. Oh, so ice! Ice managed to. Oh, come on! I really have to practice my side hand. Right. So. Alright, we just water off the path that we are taking. Where are we? Alright, we're fine. Just continue on. So, what are we doing here in the middle of nowhere here in Hafinga Hold? One of the most inhospitable regions. Skyrim. Definitely the coldest. Well, sad to say, we are here at the behest of nothing less than a Daedric Prince. Clavicus Vile. What a rather unsavory aspect of chaos. We are actually here, though, for the welfare of his more benign side. A very intriguing and friendly talking dog named Barbas, who is nevertheless a Daedra, which makes you think that he is called a, a Daedrog, or a Daeg, <laughs> or maybe a Drog. <laughs> uh, anyway, where are we? Alright, um, uh, right. of course I made a bit of so yes, well, Barbas is the conscience of Clavicus Vile, a separate entity from him altogether, and uh, he was cast out by his master for some argument that they had. And now we are trying to get them back together, something that apparently will, well, unleash Vile into the world. Because as they are right now, he is trapped inside his shrine, which makes you now question <laughs> why we are doing this. But then again, if we do so, we at least imbue him, Clavicus Vile, with uh, conscience. Uh, maybe that is uh, the lesser of the two evils. I think the cave is over here. Alright, I think this is it. Now, the thing that uh, Vile, Clavicus Vile, asked us to do was to recover something called the Rufal Axe. Now, it's located in this place, a cave called Rhyme Rock Burrow. Now, as the story goes, as told by Barbas quite eloquently, this Sebastian Lord, this warlock, had a daughter who was afflicted with lycanthropy. So he prayed to Clavicus Vile to give him a cure for his daughter. 
to free her from the curse of her seed. It turns her into a werewolf. And of course, Clavicus Vile gave him an axe. Now I thought that this was probably just an anecdote or cautionary tale of the lessons of not trusting Daedric princes in such things, but apparently there is an actual Rhymrock Burrow, an actual person known as Sebastian Lord who has an axe. <sighs> Let's get this over with. I am thinking this person, Sebastian Lord, is that famous, he'd probably be at least powerful. I'm thinking he, he was given the axe, I assume, to murder his own daughter. That's the that's an ironic twist, the whole thing, the whole story. Did he actually use it? I mean, really? Fairly sure there's probably a cure for lycanthropy somewhere. Just have to know where to find it. I mean, I've heard that there's a cure for vampirism. In any case, did he actually use the axe? I mean, if I was a father, and this Daedric Prince gave me an axe to cure my child of a sickness I'd throw the damn thing back at his face at the Daedic Prince not my child of course alright oh, yes. yes hello alright ow alright Oh, alright, alright. I'm just here for one thing. I want, I need the rueful axe. Oh, there it is. Oh. You know what? Thank you very much. Condolences to your daughter. Shut up. Alright, let's get out of here. Ah. Alright. Alright. Let's see what this thing really is. Rufal axe. It's not even well made. I mean, it's... Well, the design is... eye-catching. Huh. Enchantment is... not that powerful. I guess it, uh, it's more about the reputation of the thing, I guess. <laughs> I could probably forge something far more powerful in my sleep. Anyway, we have it. We have the damn thing. Okay, you're okay with this, alright? I, I mean, I will promise to wash my hands thoroughly. After this is all said and done. Oh. Come on. I was, uh... I was, uh... Intending to use Kind's piece, but you know what? Ice form is also... Pretty... <laughs> it gets the job done. I love using it, <laughs> actually. 
So, we have to get back to Solitude, get back onto the carriage. I guess uh, where's the quickest way to get to get back to Haymar Shade Shrine? I guess I should go back to Falkreath. I think this is the way to Dragon's Bridge. Uh, see traces of smokestacks. Uh, uh, yes, there it is. Ah, yes, alright, Dragon Screech. Don't do this at home, kids. Aris Valoris is a master of heavy armor, and therefore. We have little to fear from uh, gravity. What? Nah! <laughs> Whoa! Alright. Ah, uh, just a time. Whoa! Whoa! Alright. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry about that. Hello. Good evening. Yes, it is, indeed. I'd like to hire a carriage, please. Where do you want to go? Falkreath. Climb and back, and we'll be off. All right. Now, bend over. <laughs> I mean, uh, I just got to climb on your back. Fine. Get up there. Sense of humor. Oh, steady on. Oh, come on. Oh. Okay. Oh. Let's see. All right. Full house tonight, eh? Right. We're going in. Thank you, thank you. Yes, I know, okay. I do have the safe house gift that we are truly appreciative of. But you know what? Sometimes we do want to just mingle with people, not have to just vanish into this magical abode that has been given to us, luxurious as it is. Well, to that be honest. Must have been quite the mage to do that to himself. Anyway, next on the list, a staff belonging to Magnus himself. Easy. To be honest, uh, is he the Imperial? Anyway, to be honest, the safe room is empty except for Aranea. I mean, we'd, uh, of course, we've given. Lydia and Uthgerd holiday. Right as well. Looked a bit touch and go for a moment there. And uh, well, Aranea, I mean, we like Aranea. She's a very loyal follower, capable mage, but she's also very depressing. He, everything he says is Azura this, Azura that, or. Do what you will, bearer of the star. It, 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 it's really... You know what? I spend a day with just her, and I'll probably get converted to Azura. Uh, with, uh, with excuses to you, RK. And so, uh, I don't want to just go to the safe, safe room right now. I'd rather spend some night here among other people. Um, is it uh, Innkeeper? I hear Valder made it back safe. Too bad about the others, but at least it's one less thing to worry about. Vald oh, oh, that hunter. Yes, uh, oh yes, yes, he, he made it back, of course. That was a long time ago. 
very long time ago. Anyway, yes, no problem. Um, I'd like to rent a room, please. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Thank you. I'll show you to your room, right this way. I am pooped. But yes, it is. It will be good to rest in a different bed. Let me know if there's anything else you need. Yes, um, perhaps a door? Ah. <laughs> uh, Alright. I just need to sleep. <clears throat> Oh, I need that. All right. We are alive again. Ah. Yeah, very full house, eh? So I can keep Ah, Lady Valga. Oh, oh, sorry. Um, Lady Valga, before you go Welcome to bed. Welcome to Dead Man's Drink. Yeah, sorry, sorry. Uh, before you go to bed, uh, could you please refill my water skins? Of course. All right, thank you. Thank you very much. You hear any juicy gossip in town? Be sure to share it with me. Oh, uh, of course, of course. He certainly hasn't got a lot of sleep. Huh. It was you, wasn't it? Hello there. Hailing from Cyrodiil, my friend? Excuse me, sir. I uh, don't normally do this, but, um, have you got a moment to talk? Well. Actually, yes, that's why I came here. <laughs> Marvelous. Ah. My name is Lucian Flavius. Ah, indeed. I'm a scientist, philosopher, amateur wizard, and something of a musician, though I suppose that's more of a hobby. I couldn't help noticing that you seem... How can I put this? Well acquainted with the less savory side of Skyrim? Huh. Well, that's putting it lightly. I've been around, I've seen the darkest, most, well, dangerous armpits of this province, and I've seen some rather beautiful things as well, yes, yes, eh, I guess I've seen a thing or two. Why, do you need help with something? As a matter of fact, I do. I'm here in Skyrim on an expedition, academic expedition. mainly. Expedition? I find the province simply fascinating. The flora, the fauna, the ruins, both Dwemer and Nordic, the architecture, the politics. Huh. Trouble is, I'm really not much of a fighter. I know a few spells and can just about swing a sword, but beyond that, I'm pretty useless in combat. Skyrim's no place for a milk drinker like me. Not on my own, anyway. So, I'm looking for someone to travel with. Huh. Well, to be quite honest, I am starved of companionship. Uh, I do want to travel the roads with someone, at least. Uh, Alright, um, go on. What, what, what exactly do you need? I suppose what I'm asking is, would you awfully mind if I tag along? Huh. I will, of course, compensate you most handsomely for putting up with me. Well, the price really isn't important, but... Um, oh, uh, shall we say 300 septims up front? 300 septims? After that, I'll top you up every time we come across something useful to my research. Are you some sort of... At your uh, discretion, of course. No obligations, save that you take me with you, and assist in keeping me alive wherever possible. Well, I guess... Any injuries can easily be healed. Ha! Uh, not sure about uh, resurrections, but uh, um, well, I guess we can get a 
companion, additional companion to provide additional security, perhaps, if need be. Uh, we'll see. All right, um, uh, I think that sounds about right. It's fine, uh, I guess. Oh, splendid. Uh, Here's your gold. This is going to be quite the adventure. Well, all right. Anyway, um, I'm Aris Valoris, by the way. Priest of Arcade, adventurer, explorer, crusader for the god of life and death. It's a pleasure to meet you. Yes, Lead indeed. on. All right. That's... That's an iron sword, is it? Can, can I see what you have? Everything all right? I'd like to see what you're packing. Any chance of a helmet? Could really use one the next time a bandit takes a swing at my skull. Yes, uh, I agree. Do we have anything? Huh. How good are you with axes? Um, uh, no. Uh, could give him. What armor do you use? No, he said he's a. Uh, said he's a mage. Could give him this. Alright, give, uh, give him this at least. Huh. You have, and you have no, no equipment at all. What, do you come here on the strength of your purse? You seem to have boundless funds, but I take those. I don't want you running around without food. We, at least I do have a full larder. Take these. I guess that's part of the fee that you give gave me. This. All right. Um, let me know if you need anything else. Don't worry. Come on. You really need to sleep, my dear. So, at least six hours. Oh my god. Alright, um... Don't you even have a cloak? I have to get you something. Um... Wait here a bit. Hey there, legs. Arane is keeping herself busy. Now, what do we have? Let's take some of these things. All right. can we make for our friend? I have to admit, it's quite uh, exciting to have a fellow Imperial. Move to cloak and hood. Alright, a cloak and a hood. At least that. I guess we can uh, at least enchant it. Something, what can we give him? Uh, where's the hood? Right, the hood. Simple enough. It's uh, give it uh, fortify magic in the gem. Yes, we have more than enough grand soul gems, I guess. And for the cloak, let's give it protection against. Uh, Fire and frost. All right. Now, do something else. A weapon. You give him this battle axe. Uh, war axe. Well, he's, uh, he's an Imperial. I think that he'd probably want 
a sword. Not that, but uh, you give a stuff. Yeah, let's give him let's give an axe. Why not? Let's give him this. And is there anything that we could probably We've already given him a ring or have him a ring. Let's give him a robe at least. And Circlet, no, 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 no. Gauntlets, spellbinder, boots. You could give him this, Mesa Fava Stone Singer. <laughs> no, no, no. Um, iron boots. Well, those might actually be good. Huh. Right, let's not go overboard and turn him into a warrior of legend with the uh, stuff, but uh, this will these will start him off. Right. Uh, Lucian. Yeah? Yeah, take these. Go ahead. Load me up. Yes, indeed. Right, take this axe. I think that's far more effective, you'll find, than your iron sword. Alright, that's better. And uh, put these on. You're a mage, so that should help you. Let's All get right. back to it. Now let's try and get you a backpack. Oh, oh, come ah. Right. Where's the store? Ah, this weather. Right. Um, is this a store? Oh, no. It's a smith. I have to talk to that smith about the, this whole thing. Got something for just about everybody in here. Give a holler if you have any questions. I have questions. Hey. Hello. Well met. Unlike my brother, I've no dislike of strangers. Met lots of them while I was a Stormcloak. Yes, bit too much information, but yes, let me see your wares. Some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. Right, I'll take that backpack. I'll take the travel lantern. Master, I would say. I think that's all. Take those boots as well, why not? Hmm. Alright. Anything else? No. I'll take the grand soldier. I'll sell you some stuff to get back the money that I've so far spent. Yeah. Steal anything from my shop uh, and you you'll regret it. Yeah. Greetings. Take these. Sure, let's trade. Alright. Okay, backpack and those boots. Let's get back to it. Alright, indeed. Come on. That's fine for now. Yes. Alright. I need to turn off my light. Oh, yes. Yeah. Lucian Flavius, reporting for duty. Sure, I'll carry what I can. Very good, very good. You're a pleasant fellow, I have to say. Very ready for everything. Like that. We can take these gauntlets, why not? Let's get moving. Alright. So, we headed back to Haymar Shade, which. 
is a bit of a walk. But it's fine. A walk in the rain. Oh my gosh. Fairly sure we just need to go on this road for moving forward. Try not to outdistance our friend, new companion. Lucian Flavius. Flavius? Flavius? Seem to recall there was a family. Five days there. Flavius? Uh, merchants were they? Or were they? Keep on this road. So he said that he's scientist, researcher, amateur mage. It's a jack of all trades. He's, he said he could swing a sword. That slight frame doesn't fool me a bit. He's he's fairly fit. Probably be a legion soldier easily if he wanted to. I think he's just a bit too intelligent to be just a grunt on the field. This is fine. It's more to him than meets the eye, surely. Right. Ah, the same. Alright, um, alright, fine. Whoa, alright, that's good. Alright. Thank you. Alright, where's that one? You dare hit me with that hammer? Really? Man, you can't take the coin with you. Huh, I bet there's things here we could give our friend. These things are lighter. I have to say, Lucia, I am impressed. You are very capable. That's the other one. Oh no! Bastards! Just fresh off murdering that woman, eh? Well, bastards. Anything odd there? If you are reading this, then I am most likely dead. Oh. How... How impressive that bit of foresight. A group of bandits ransacked my home and took most everything valuable I owned. The worst is they took a pendant that has been in my family for many generations. Most of my family is dead, so that pendant was the last connection I had with any of them. Going after those scoundrels and getting my pendant back even if it gives a death on me. Is this it? The only thing I found on them. Well, I put it on you, but uh, you're dead. Oh, well. Come on. If I leave it on her corpse, someone else will just take it. Then let's just. Okay, I pray that you place a rather 
Not a careless soul. Finesse. Right, we're coming upon Helgen. So that's a bit of a marker that we are very much coming near to Haymarsh Shade. Shouldn't be that far away. Oh, there are usually bad bits here. Let's just try to get past it without too much trouble. Hopefully this rain will keep them all indoors. And here we are going indoors. <laughs> all right, all right. He is a bit of a musician. Ah. Come on! Follow me. Go shed! Oh man, come on! I'm fairly sure there was a back door, but I don't think it's approachable or I don't think it's reachable to the ground. So we're going to have to go to the front again. Well, we cleared it out the first time we came here. So there shouldn't be anyone more. Uh, Lucian? Yes? Yes. What's next? Well, we're going to enter this cave. It was, in truth, formerly a vampire's lair. Uh, well, a lair of vampire Daedra worshippers, but uh, they're all dead now. So, there shouldn't be any resistance. Just uh, keep behind me. Yes, I think everyone's still dead. I always used to think caves like this had dragons in them. Silly me, right? Right? Yes, yes, yes. I think. Yeah, come to think of it, dragons are always outdoors. Yes. Well, there was that one dragon, but it was an undead dragon. So, can't really say that it was normal. Where are all the bodies? Of vampires. Very sure we left a trail of corpses in our wake. Perhaps Barbus cleaned them up. Oh, there are bodies right out there. Ah, that's a nice sight to see, I think. Ah. Alright. Almost there, almost there. Here we are, here we are. Oh, and look who's waiting for us. Hello there, Barbus. Alright, alright. We have the axe, don't worry. Alright. Lucian, uh... I thought I saw something move over there. What? Perhaps. Just my imagination. Don't do that. Don't do that. Alright. Ravicus Vile. I've returned. Ah, you've got the axe. And my dog. Splendid. Never took your dog. Anyway, we are back, so fulfill your end of the bargain, please. Excellent work! A hero and his faithful companion retrieving the ancient artifact for the prince. Yes. It's almost... storybook. It is. Ah, oh, but it almost seems a shame to give a weapon like that away, doesn't it? Huh? I suppose I could be persuaded to let you keep it. But only if you use the axe to kill Barbus. Simple as that. 
Well, for starters, um, you know, I like your dog. And uh, I don't really use axes, you see. I'm a priest of RK. And I exclusively use hammers or maces. So no deal. Just take the damn axe and take back your dog. Huh. You're no fun at all. No, I'm not. I'm a it's priest. Right to make my own fun elsewhere. Huh. And with the pup back, I'll be restored to my full power. There's a whole world just waiting for me. Yes, about that. Uh... I knew I could trust you. Yeah, yeah, dog gets master, master gets cosmic axe. Everyone's happy. Just get over here, Matt. I'm not very happy here. Don't worry, I'll make sure we see the light. I trusted you, now you trust me. All right. Ah, oh, that feels so much better. Oh, look at that. You forget how nice supreme power feels until you've been stuck in a cave for a few years. It's a shame you wished for something so dull as me taking back the mutt. Quite the lack of imagination on your part. A lack of ambition like that really ought to be punished. Perhaps by turning you into a worm, or maybe a few decades of... Oh, fine. Have my boon and be done with it. Got more interesting deals to make anyway. Huh. Alright. Thank you, I guess. I think we're done here. Well, well, Barbus, uh, keep him in check, all right? What did he give us? A helmet. The mask of Clavicus Vile. Enhances bartering, speechcraft, increases magical regeneration. This thing is... It's actually awesome! <laughs> I like it! Alright, so... Um, Flavius! What do you think of my new helm? Looks fascinating, doesn't it? Alright, um... Time to go, I guess. You're yeah, able to... Carry out a quest, help a friend, even if it was a dangerous dog. And we got from it a powerful artifact and a badass helmet. I think, um, I think things went rather well. 